This is one of the basic checkmates in chess. King and rook against king. And this is a type of endgame that you're going to meet a lot. The position on the board is exactly what you want. You want your king to be right across the opposite king with one square in between. And at the same time, you want your rook to cover that rank that's between your king and the enemy king. And to make it a little more complicated, you want to achieve this position with you as white to move and not black. Because if black has to move here, he can move here and you're not in that position anymore. If you move to follow, he can move back again, right? So you have to create a position where white is in the move. And the reason you want that is because white to move, you have a check on the black king here. And the black king cannot move here, here, or here because your king is across from the black king. And he has to move here, here, or here. You're actually pushing the black king towards the end of the board. It's really not that complicated. It's just you need some practice and it will come automatically. But first of all, we're going to move our rook here to a3 and we're cutting off the enemy king from moving towards us. Now the black king is not voluntarily going to move back. He's going to move either to the right or to the left. And let's say the black king moves towards our rook. Uh, when we move our king now we have the ideal position with the kings opposite each other and we also have the rook in between. The only problem here is it's black to move. We are just going to move our king straight up and now if the king moves back we have the ideal position and we can force him to move back because he cannot go here. The black king is not going to make it easy for us. So he's going to move towards our rook. And we follow with the king. And then we move the rook away. And he's going to come back. But we don't want to move our king here, right? Because this would be the wrong position. So we're going to just use a waiting move with the rook and the black king is going to move towards the side of the board and we're following and right now he can either move voluntarily back towards the back end of the board or come towards us and we do have the ideal position where white is in the move and we can check him and black is forced to move back. So as before we trail a little bit behind him and he's just going to keep moving towards our rook and now we move the rook away. He's going to come back and if he doesn't come back to put it that way let's say he moves towards the side of the board and he comes back we do not want to put our king here because then he can start moving back that way again. So we do a waiting move again. He moves towards the side of the board and then he's forced to move back and we have a check again and there he goes. We trail behind him as before and there's really not any other way to do this than what we're doing we move the rook back 
he can come here and we do a waiting move he moves towards the side and as before he's forced to move in the ideal position and we're in the move check he moves back we trail and as you can see there's a system to the madness here right and the reason why he keeps wanting to go towards our rook is because there is a 50 move rule so if you don't checkmate in 50 moves it will automatically be a draw now he's on the back rank here and we're still trailing behind him And a waiting move. And this is your checkmate. The Black King has nowhere to go. This is a demonstration, and in real life, the pieces are not going to be looking like this, where you're going to have to force the Black King to move back five ranks but it's a very good way to practice uh, one more thing is uh, when you start moving here and you're trailing behind you don't always have to place the rook on the opposite side of the board you can actually shorten the distance here uh, one more thing is uh, that in a situation like this king moves back you could actually move right here and then you just have shortened the distance very much already but you're not checkmating at the back of the board but at one of the sides of the board here so right now if the king moves here you can just swoop behind here And you have actually the same position, but 90 degrees opposite here. King moves here. You can check here. The point being that it doesn't necessarily have to take 50 moves to do this. It's a lot shorter than that. But just to get into the practice, and as a beginner, just move the enemy king towards the back of the board and that's it for this time